Hey guys, um, how's everybody doing? I know it's been a long time since we did a video. I've been really busy. Anyways, today we are doing the front brakes on a 2020 BMW 330i. And as you can see, I already started. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna go ahead and take these and, and uh, release the uh, lug nuts. They are 17 millimeters. Uh, we're gonna release them first before we jack it up. Then we'll continue taking them off. We're gonna take the tire off and we'll go from there. As you can see, I uh, removed the, the uh, tire and turned the wheel. I'm actually working on the uh, passenger side. If you work on the passenger side, turn your steering wheel all the way to the left. Make it easy to access the bolts for the caliper. There's one, and there's another one. These are 13 millimeter socket. I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Alright. Alright, as you can see the nut is turning right here. So I'm gonna go get something to hold it. And continue. Alright guys, all you gotta do is just use something like this and hold this turn your nut right here and then screw your uh, 13 millimeter bolt you can also use a vice grip if you don't want to worry about holding it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and continue uh, I need two hands I'm gonna do that and uh, show you from there all right as you can see I removed the uh, brake pads if you notice I didn't take the caliper all the way off. I uh, loosened the top one, took the bottom bolt off, you can lift it up like that, remove your brake pads and you gotta put them back as you remove them. Put some grease. Um, before you put the new ones on, you gotta push on the piston. You can use a C-clamp. C-clamp or I use my tool right here. This is what I use. Put a, a plate over here and I push on the piston. And make sure you use some of these grease. Grease right there. And you can put your grease, put it over here. Put your grease over here. Put the new ones on. Put them back on. Um, <coughs> Something else I want to tell you before you uh, put the new ones on. Make sure these right here, they're going out easy. These two, the rubber pins, there's a pins inside. Make sure they go in inside, inside and out easy. Sorry for the camera. I gotta hold this with one. And you see, they have to be like that. So. Make sure they uh, go in and out easy. If they don't, you gotta remove them, clean them up, put some grease on them, put them back on. So all you gotta do now, put your brake pads, uh, the new one, new ones on. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some grease on the new ones. And I gotta use both hands, so, all right guys. This is what you're gonna use. You're gonna put your all the brake pad over here and get a C clamp. Get a C clamp and push on the piston all the way in. Then we'll be able to put your uh, caliper back on, tighten your two bolts. All right, everything back place 
All I gotta do now is put this bolt back in here. And just uh, use the same thing you did when you released the bolts. Hold this nut right here. Tighten your bolts, make sure they're tight. And that's all you gotta do. After that, you straighten your wheels, put your tire on, and make sure before you start the car, make sure you pump the brakes so you get the piston back pushing on the brake, on the pads. That's all you gotta do. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And as you can see, I did not replace the uh, sensors. If you need to replace the sensors, let me know and I'll help you. Alright guys, I will see you in another video.